The Duke of Sussex's long-awaited documentary about the Invictus Games is set to air on Netflix this summer, but one commentator previously argued that the streaming deal was a kick in the face for young professionals starting out. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, appeared in a video last week showing a behind-the-scenes look at the official launch event of the Invictus Games Dusseldorf 2023. The Duke and Duchess met competitors, family and friends, as well as volunteers for the Games during their visit to Germany in September last year. As patron of the Invictus Games Foundation, Harry traveled to Dusseldorf, where the sporting event will take place later this year. The Duke founded the Invictus Games, which sees wounded, injured and sick service personnel and veterans compete in various sports in 2014, having been inspired by the Warrior Games in the USA, despite stepping back from his royal duties three years ago, Harry has continued his work with the Games. Last year, when the event took place at The Hague, the Netherlands, the prince led the opening ceremony, cheered competitors on from the sidelines, and sat down for a rare media interview. Now, he is set to deliver an intimate glimpse into the world of the Invictus Games, focusing on those who participate in the important event in a documentary series for Netflix. However, the project has faced criticism from some commentators from the outset. With one slamming the deal Harry and Meghan signed with the streaming giant as irritating, Loose Women's Jane Moore claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex only secured their deal with Netflix because of who they are not what they have proved they can do. In 2021, she revealed the news had irritated her and questioned why Harry and Meghan had been chosen for such a huge deal over young talent. The couple signed the deal, which was reportedly worth around £109 million, £142 million, in 2020, just months after they stepped down from there. When asked whether the Duke and Duchess deserved the deal, Ms. Moore replied, No. End of discussion. He said, It irritates the hell out of me. I'm a writer myself. I know there are so many writers and producers, and there is so much young talent out there trying to come through, who would love to get into Netflix's door, let alone be given this deal. They have been given this deal because of who they are, not because of what they have proved they can do, Ms. Moore, a journalist who has authored several books and worked in the television industry for decades, admitted her issues with the deal would have been relinquished had the royal couple spent time building up a portfolio of work to demonstrate their skills in the industry. I'm all for if, ten years down the line, they have made lots of programs and come up quietly and got the deal then, that would be different," she explained. But I think, them just parachuting in is not good for the creative industry as a whole, Ryan Murphy has a deal, Shonda Rhimes, these are proven really good creative writers, producers, creators. Harry and Meghan signed a multi-year deal to make TV series, films and children's shows. In a statement at the time, they said, through our work with diverse communities and their environments, to shining a light on people and causes around the world, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. As new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to us, as is powerful storytelling through a truthful and relatable lens. The first of several projects the couple were said to be working on was a documentary about the Invictus Games, which will spotlight a group of extraordinary Invictus Games competitors from around the globe, according to the Archwell website, titled Heart of Invictus, the docuseries will showcase powerful stories of resilience and hope and will be produced and launched by Archwell Productions in partnership with